hello button goes click or beep when it's clicked or whatever kind of event you want to listen for you can make sounds run on those events and traditionally you would use a fast click sound or a quick little beep but really you can use any sound you want uh, click uh. now you can find and download tons of free bleeps and click sounds for your audible menu systems by doing a little searching on the web right now now try your best to find a very short length sound file mp3 files that are short beeps or fast clicks are the best for button sounds and once you get some cool button sound effects downloaded you're ready to begin this simple lesson you really don't want to use a song file to demonstrate this to yourself and I also have a tutorial from a couple of years ago that shows how to create your very own custom button sounds in Fruity Loops. I will link to that tutorial right here. So just click this box if you want to learn about creating custom button sounds for the web using Fruity Loops. And that tutorial is a couple of years old, but it still applies today. Now first, before we get our hands dirty with the code, let's take a look at the finished product of what you'll be learning today. And what it shows is just how to put button sound effects when these buttons are clicked. And this example also shows how to make the, uh, the active state readily available in CSS. That way you get a little brighter state when the button is clicked and held Then you let go, you see? So the sound fires off when the button is first clicked. Then if the user holds the button, it'll stay in a lit up state like that. Or if they just do fast clicks, they'll just see a quick bright flash. And you would want to get a sound effect that's a little more smooth. I've got one that's really obvious and kind of annoying on my buttons. You would want to get one that's just like a real quick beep or tick, a small tick or a click, just so it's not annoying to your user and it comes across as more elegant rather than annoying. We're going to start with the bare bones of an HTML5 web document. And the first thing we'll do is add the four buttons inside of a nav tag. So we'll use the HTML5 nav element, go down a couple of lines and make sure we close that nav element. And inside of it, we're going to put four A elements. Make sure each one of those is closed as well. And for the href attribute, just for the lesson code, I'm just going to put a pound sign. And you can put the URL to the web address that you're going to navigate to using that button. Now what I'm going to do is use the on mouse down event for my button sound trigger you can use on click or on mouse down you can also target on hover so if you want to target the hover event you can make some other different sound fire off when the user's mouse hovers over the button and then a totally different other sound fire off when they actually click it so you can put multiple sounds within your menu system targeting different events so in the label of this one we'll just put the button label to be home Then I'm going to copy that three times and this one will be about us services and contact now we're going to put the JavaScript functionality that we want to happen right here in the on mouse down event. So what we need is the JavaScript in place to bring in that HTML5 audio object through script. So we'll go up into the head element and we'll put in a script element. Make sure we close that script element. And the first thing inside of it, we're going to type in var bleep. And that's going to be equal to new audio element or new audio object instance. So bleep is a new audio object instance and we want to set the source file for the bleep. So I'll say bleep.source is equal to and in between the double quotes I'll put the path to that sound file bleep.mp3. So, so this in effect should preload that sound file to your web page. Now all you have to do down in the on mouse down event is target the bleep instance and run the play method open close parentheses. So bleep dot play is all you have to do so now let's test this in our favorite modern browser so you see we have all of our buttons here or all of our links they're going to be buttons in a second when I throw in some CSS but you can see that we have the sound effect already attached to them which is what we want so that's the JavaScript functionality at its core right there and you really don't need to go much further to understand what's going on now but now what I'm going to do is pop in some CSS as a little bonus for you guys in case you're new to CSS. So in the head element above our script element, I'm going to put it in a style element, make its type text CSS and make sure I close this style element. Now inside I'll put my CSS and I'm targeting here. Let me lay out the uh, 
the properties like this so you can see them better but I'm gonna collapse those properties back up when you guys grab the code at develop PHP if you're gonna snatch this code that'll all be in one line and it'll still work just fine so what I'm gonna have to do now is put the nav ID of nav1 here for this nav element so nav ID is equal to nav1 now all of this CSS will be applied to my a elements that are within that nav and the nav itself so the nav itself I gave a margin top 24 pixels so it's a little bit off the top of the page all the child a elements inside of nav1 we're giving these properties now for the hover state I'm making it turn a green color and then for the active state which is the state when they actually click I'm making it turn a brighter green color so the active state is the one that you target if you want to target the actual interaction event the actual click that's the active state now let's run this in our favorite browser and see what we get perfect okay that's the first example all complete and you guys should be able to wrap your head around what's going on pretty easily now but I'm gonna make one more example just to show people who who like loading Ajax content in or loading content into their page through JavaScript without reloading the whole page for those users you want to go about this in a little bit different sort of way so I'll make that example real quick and explain everything so what I'll do first is collapse this style element so we don't really need to look at it anymore and it's really just for cosmetics okay so what we're gonna do here for this next example is put a function called play btn sound open close parentheses open a curly brace and closing curly brace and here in the arguments area for that function we're gonna place in the variable name of num now inside of that function what we're gonna do is run bleep dot play so we can put bleep dot play semicolon right there and now let's target the on click event for let's say a group of button elements so instead of a elements we're gonna have button elements and let's call this section one and instead of running bleep.play we're gonna run the play button sound function and we're gonna send one parameter which is one that represents section one now let's take that button and put it in there maybe two more times change this to section two section three and in here we're gonna send a two and a three that way this function knows to also actually let's name this load content that would make more more sense we're gonna name this function load content instead of play button sound function load content and inside of load content let's make a comment that says play button sound now and then right after the button goes beep you're gonna load content into a div on the page so let's put that div into place underneath the nav element let's put a div close that div and let's give that div an ID so that way we can target it and put HTML content into it dynamically and let's just name this div one and inside we're gonna type default content in now after the button sound fires off and you hear the beep you need to load content into div one so we're gonna say var div one is equal to document dot get element by ID and the ID we want is div one we're just getting an object reference for this element here in JavaScript and then we can say div one dot inner HTML is equal to loaded content for section and then plus num and that will display which section is supposed to be displayed within that div and this is all just for demonstration purposes but this is how people dynamically load content into the page after it's loaded and you don't have to refresh the page you can just reload a section of the page with new content if you want all right so everything looks pretty good to me now let's see what we get let's run this in our favorite browser see we get the button sound on our menu system and we're dynamically loading in new content into that div according to which button is pressed okay so those are two different scenarios and in this example you don't need any of this CSS because we're using button elements you would target those differently in CSS to style those so you'll get these two different code examples the first example which showed a more traditional way from going page to page on a website like normal navigation and then this second example shows loading page content dynamically using JavaScript or Ajax and being able to make the bleep dot play 
fire off within your load content functions. Okay, we hope you've enjoyed this lesson on creating button sound effects in your HTML5 and JavaScript applications. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below. Bye-bye.